We recently received a letter from one of our clients asking us to share the letter that they had sent to us. They wanted to go on the record and tell other family members what they have learned and ask that I read their letter on a video. I agreed to do so. And here's that letter. Dear Miss Russo, we wanted to write you and thank you for what your organization is doing for us, for what it does and is continuing to do to educate us and keep our son alive. In spite of the countless numbers of family members who just flat refuse to listen and read about your organization or go to your website or even watch the videos, we hope this letter somehow, in some way, is an eye-opener for them. We should know. We were one of those family members who didn't listen until, as you know, we encountered a life-and-death situation with our son. You were gracious enough not to tell us I told you so, so first and foremost, we want to go on the record to bear witness to that fact that you didn't and say thank you. Thank you for not telling us you told us so. But it was true. Initially, we didn't listen. You told us at the outset when we first called and explained what was happening to our son and what we had been trying to do was doing more harm than good. You proceeded to tell us what correctional staff and medical staff were doing before we ever told you, and you told us exactly what was going to happen if we didn't do what you were recommending. Again, we didn't listen, and all of it happened just as you had told us it would. We were absolutely dumbfounded. Thank goodness we didn't wait any longer to call you back. We are positive our son would have been dead by now had we not done so. We want other families to know how important it is to have the Institute's life care interlock documents in place for their loved ones and for themselves, even when the inmate is still healthy. They can get sick in no time flat, and that sickness can turn into a death sentence in a matter of hours or days. They have got to know that without these life care interlock documents in place, they have absolutely no say so at all. They can't say or do anything for their loved one, absolutely nothing. The system just isn't going to listen to anything they say because they know these documents are not in place and that the majority of inmates and their families don't even know what they are. They also must know that any form given to the inmate to sign for medical reasons isn't good enough. We found out that the hard way too. As you have explained, those documents are pro-prison anti-inmate, and they sure are. They must know that these documents plus the Institute's expertise can actually get results and keep their loved one alive and give them such empowerment and authority that most families don't even know they have. Before getting to the Institute, my wife and I researched the advocacy groups that are everywhere on the Internet, and we quickly, personally found out how deadly they can be. All too often, they were providing bad or wrong information, and after partnering with you for all these months, we are convinced that a majority of families have absolutely no idea what and who they're dealing with. They are clueless. And we can't even begin to imagine how many inmates are sick and suffering because of a family's lack of knowledge and not having the correct documents in place. So, we encourage everyone who hears you read this letter to call the Institute and not wait. What's the point of waiting? They should never assume the system is going to do what needs to be done, and they should never assume that they know what they're doing. We can guarantee you they don't. We know that some people will get it and some people won't. Some people will believe that we are writing out of a deep concern for all those in the system who are as frustrated and fearful as we were, and some people won't. There's nothing we can do about that. Their ignorance and refusal will catch up with them, but we can do our part by being a mouthpiece to what we know works and has worked for us and our son. Again, thank you, and as you know, we are requesting that you not mention our name, our son's name, or what state we are in, for the obvious reasons. If people actually have to wonder why that is, they're more clueless than even we thought, and they absolutely need your help. Sincerely. If you'd like more information about Life Care Interlock documents, you can certainly access the links that are below this video. Thanks for tuning in.